Good morning, party people. So, little Miss Luna over here, yes, you, has been a naughty girl. Although right now she's very affectionate because I think she knows she's in trouble. So I'll put you down. Has been a naughty girl. And she has been getting creative, artistic, out here in the backyard. Haven't you? As you can see there, she's been doing a bit of digging in this little dry spot. So, I haven't really shown you guys the backyard in a while, but we plan on putting in an outdoor shower here. And it means that we've had to dig up a little bit in order to get the plumbing in, all that stuff. I'm not gonna bore you with those details, but essentially, right now, I need to lay some new turf down. So, <laughs> this little angel, yes, you, doesn't dig as much. Let's get into it. Hello. Hey, uh, so we've done the back corner, but when we took out our water tanks here, excuse the sweat, um, we had to dig in pipes, which are under this spot, and we kind of left a bit of a hole here. So I'm leveling out the grass in this spot as well, so we'll have nice, even grass. Now, it doesn't look like much right now, but once I put the top dressing over it, give it a bit of watering, stomp it down, it should come back healthier and greener. As we can take Luna out now walking, it's not a huge issue, I hope. It. We're done for today, with the grass at least. It's in, it's patchy, but it will come back healthier and hopefully less holes for little Miss Luna to dig in. Anyway, on to the next thing. <sighs> How's that for a weird inception? We're in the gym. I don't know if I can hold this far enough out for my face because I'm on a wider angle lens right now. Let's try this. No! <laughs> Hey, we're gonna do leg day. Today is hamstring, glute focused legs. Pull legs, if you will. So we're gonna start this morning's workout with lunges. Let's get into it. Not a problem. We will get on that right now and we'll see you very soon. Cool, see you mate. Pause the workout. We are getting these two walls blacked out. This morning. So we got that one done the other week and really liked the way it changed kind of the, the dynamic, dynamic, it's a new word I made up, of the gym. So these two walls are getting done now, but it means we need to move the equipment off the wall. So that's the first part of the workout. Just getting a little caffeine fix right now. My grenade shaker. I really like this because it's shaped like a grenade. But I will say this, this thing just gets in the way. It's a bit... I get it, crazy aesthetics, but also it makes it awkward for me to hold and drink. We just had to move this off and move it off the wall. And it's dusty, but wait for the guys to come. So essentially they're using wallpaper. Nice and simple. Um, that'll go right across there. 
Which means, in order for us to train, because this has probably taken about an hour and a half, we will adjust today's leg workout to suit. It'll be a lot of free weight based stuff. We can still use a squat rack, but we might just move into this section here. But for now, I'm gonna open up the door, let some light in, let the guys come in and get to work. Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do? No, you couldn't stand tall So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all The reason we do lunges to warm up is exactly that. It's a good warm up exercise. Um, a lot of movement in there, utilizing quads and hamstrings. Getting a nice stretch in there. So it means once we move into the first of our compound exercises, we are primed and ready to go. And the first compound here is gonna be hip thrusts. Um, so setting up on a bench here, gonna grab a barbell, use a little pad here, go across the waist and we're going through and doing hip thrusts. Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do? No, you couldn't stand tall. So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by. But I think about you, about you all the time. Looks like you're changing and all But why didn't you, why didn't you call? Something in the air, always something in the air Inexplicable, I can feel it in the air Can you feel me? <sighs> I'm gonna try talking to you guys on this lens. My apologies for how sweaty I am, but you can see how effective this first combat movement is. So as we said, doing hip thrusts here on the bench, bar across the waist there. What we're really trying to do is dip down, get a full stretch through the glutes and hamstrings at the bottom, as you can see here. Then contracting at the top, really squeezing the glutes. Nice, strong squeeze. Get that contraction going. I'm going for 12 reps here, we're doing four sets total. This is something I've never done before. We've only just recently got the G12 here with the Smith machine on it. So, you've seen before we do single leg RDLs. We're doing a single leg RDL on the Smith machine. Now the benefit of doing it on here is you can kind of really focus on actually using the hamstring. There's less stability involved. So even though there are definite benefits to using like kettlebells something and get that instability and having to build that strength, this means you can really focus on using the muscles and taking that out of there. So because we've got the bottoms uh, there, like the safeties, I've had to chock it up here with some plates so I can get that full range of motion. Let's see how we go. Just another sunny day in Southern California. Next exercise we're doing here is using 
this machine, this is the GHD Glute Ham Developer. Um, this is a rough machine. It takes a lot of strength. Now there are ways to make it a little bit easier on yourself, which I will demonstrate here. Essentially, the movement we're going for here is torso nice and straight here. You can get hands inside, hands in front, whatever you need. We're going all the way out, getting that full stretch. Now coming up. Now what you don't want to be doing here is bending over too much because then it's not really going to hit the glutes in the same way. Now, if you want to work on building up strength here, one of the ways you can do this is as slow as you can, coming out, coming out, coming out, catching, starting to the top there. Working that negative position is going to help get that stretch in, help build up the strength eventually over time. You can build up to doing a few reps on the way back up here. Uh, here we go for six to eight reps. We're in the workout and it's pretty rough. Moving on now to good mornings. Very glute dominant here. So the way to, uh, a good morning differs to a squat or a RDL is the fact that you've got the weight load on the back there. We're really pushing our glutes backwards, keeping our feet and our bar kind of in line with our feet, really coming down, feeling that stretch through the back there. Really good cue to kind of focus on here is almost like chest up arching. You want to keep a nice neutral back, but because of the weight on your back, you kind of almost naturally bend over. If you focus on almost reversing that, it means you're going to keep a nice straight motion through the body. The next exercise we're doing is one I would suggest doing with a workout buddy because it's really awkward to get in place. Got a dopamine rush, got a major league crush when you're next to me. Got my heart upon my sleeve, can I hide the way I feel when you're next to me, girl? Got the kick in every move, and I thought it's like a fool for you, for you. Wish I knew just what it was, but why should I make a fuss just in next to me? thing up there normally we would add a bit of carbs at the end but as the machines are a bit out of order right now we will wait but gives a minute I'm gonna stop sweating I'm gonna run you through when that's done so we use the magic of the internet Wow so magical but as you can see our walls have been blacked out now the reason we did this is because it was just looking a bit too gray and obviously now I pop a bit more against the background. So, kept gray across these walls there. Gray at the back, but we've got a blacked out side here. Now, it's been a while since the gym, did a gym tour. Did a gym tour, let's do that now quickly. So, equipment, starting from the front here, we've got cardio down in this section. So we've got spin resistance bike, we've got our air runner machine. I'm gonna put that down, it's making noise, it's gonna annoy me. Air runner there, we've got our rower. Um, we've got the balls, all of our heavy medicine balls, as well as a battle rope down here. Now, this chest supported row, we're actually selling, as we don't use it enough. 
Um, when we do chest supported row stuff now, we'll actually do it on a bench with cables or something. We will maybe replace it in the future, but for now, we're getting rid of that. So that's gonna go, first things first. All through the center here, nothing new. You've seen all this stuff before. Got our lap pull down, low row. Tech deck, chest press, shoulder press. Cable machine right there. Um, over here, we've got our Smith machine cable set up on the G12. This is an awesome bit of gear. If anyone's building an at-home gym, that is like the staple piece that you would need because you can add it as a squat rack, you can bench on it, you can squat on it. Um, you've got attachments on it so you can actually do a lot of the row things on there. It really is a universal machine. As you can see here with all of the things you can do. Um, so that is there mostly for the landmine attachment as well as the Smith machine element. All of our weights are the same. We've got a few extra benches around now for when we run seminars, as well as just when we've got a few people training in here at the same time. Um, dumbbells the same. We've now got a multi-purpose decline bench, so you can change the angle of here. Really good for anything decline on the pressing, as well as abs. Moving on weight down. Squat rack, nothing new there. That's the central piece. Um, Leg press, hack squat, you guys have seen that before. Same with calf raise, that's a seated calf raise right there. Abductor, adductor machine. This here is a leverage squat, works very similar to a pendulum squat. Allows you to get a full range of motion there um, in a bit more of a secure motion. So rather than having a back with the bar moving around, this keeps you nice and locked in, very safe. This is a new piece of equipment, as you've seen in videos recently. This is the leg extension hamstring curl combo. This is a kind of an essential piece as well for us. We were missing for a long time. So we're really glad we got that one in. Sissy squat machine here. That's a favorite of mine. The, oh, bit of dust came off that wall. Um, the reverse hyper extension here as well, which we've just been adding in as a warm up for a lot of our glute hamstring days. We didn't do it today though, obviously, because it was out of action over here. Uh, and then the GHT, as you guys just saw. That's it. There's not much we're missing in here right now. Um, particularly for the way we train, every now and again there might be some things we want to add in, different attachments, whatever, but in terms of big machines, we're a fully functioning gym. Hopefully some point in the future we can open up and let people come in and have an adventure. But for now, it's just for us. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll see you guys next week. I love you. I think you're incredible. You're gonna do great things. special bad